guys, today we're going to be doing a Princess Leia inspired hairstyle and I started by placing a high ponytail and then I'm going to be using our bun maker. You can find these pretty much everywhere. I got this one at Walmart. Instead of putting this on the entire ponytail, I'm actually going to take this hair and split it in half. I would suggest adding maybe a little bit more hair to this top section just so that you have enough to make the bun. And then you can place this hair into the bun maker. I'm just going to put that out of the way for now and I'm going to braid this bottom part. Before I start braiding, I am going to spray a little bit of water just so that we don't have flyaways. And I'm just going to make a regular three strand braid. Unless your hair is extremely thick, you're probably not going to have a whole lot of hair here. So I would suggest stretching out the sides of this braid as you go. After you get that stretched out to your liking, you can just tie it off with a clear elastic. Okay, now we're going to be working on the rest of this hair. I'm going to spread it around this bun maker and just add an elastic over the top of that. I would suggest finding a bun maker that's similar to the color of hair you're working with so that if a little bit is showing through, you're really not going to see it. Since you're not working with all of her hair, it's possible that you'll have some of the bun maker showing at this point. So with these remaining ends, we're going to make some braids that are going to wrap around the bun, and you're going to need fairly long hair to do this. If your hair is on the shorter side, you're probably going to have to add some extensions or a headpiece, but her hair is pretty long, so I think we're going to be able to do it. I'm going to split this into three, and I'm just going to make three braids. So I would suggest braiding this down as far as you can go and then tying it off with a clear rubber band. And again, if your hair is on the thinner side, you may want to stretch these braids out just to make them appear to be a little bit thicker. Okay, now that I have these three braids done, I'm going to take them and wrap them around this bun and don't forget to leave this first braid that you did out. So I'm going to start kind of at the top of the bun instead of the bottom and then I'll bring these other two braids underneath the one that I'm doing now. So I'm kind of just bringing that right around the very top in the center and then I'm going to try to hide that end underneath. And if you use a bun maker, you're going to be able to bobby pin this right in. If you're using a sock bun, it's not going to be quite as easy. But these bun makers have these little holes in them, and so you can just add the bobby pin right inside it, just like that. Okay, now that I have that first braid in place, I'm going to bring the second one up kind of just right underneath it and just do the same thing. This last braid is just going to go around the base of the bun. 